the biggest thing as we ride them down the road and all these different highways across the country, safety is our big concern. So at the end of the day, we always want to double check that. I always want to make sure everything is smooth and right with that. Oh, what's going on? Welcome to our crib, man. Welcome to the RV life. It's the life right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give y'all a tour, finally. You got so many questions about, you know, getting a tour and you know, having people come out and look at it, all our family and friends. So I'm here to give you guys a tour. I'm gonna start from the outside. Uh, I'm gonna start from the outside. My wife gonna start from the inside. Here's basically our little shoe rack that we use on the outside. And then as well, here's our speakers. We get outside music. So uh, if we wanna be outside, we chilling, grilling, having a good time, we can just turn the speakers on and have the music and everything rolling. Also, this is a North Point. This is a Jayco North Point. We call her Big Jayco. I mean, not Big Draco, but Big Jayco. Also, if you come over here, this is a 37 rare living bunkhouse. So we have the rare living, and then we also have the bunkhouse for the kids. This unit is technically like a two bedroom house or a two bedroom apartment. That's how we kind of look at it. It's 37 foot long. We have two awnings out here. We have one that's out, and then we have one that's in right now. But um, this is our crib. Again, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the outside. We love it. My wife love it, my kids love it. All right, starting with the first storage bin right here. You go ahead and pull this up. We have our outside refrigerator right here where we got some waters and stuff out here. And then also, too, we have our juicer. So we have our air fryer. So we have like an extra bin. You just never know, you might need a, a, a bucket. Got an extra bucket, you never know, you might need it for some water storage or anything like that. So we have our outside stove. This is our outside kitchen area. Um, on this, this is like a griddle. We can uh, grill on here, pancakes, breakfast, dinner, uh, whatever we want to make on here. We have our outside hose right here where we could just uh, plug up our hose and get a spray. We, as we cooking and stuff like that, we can wash our hands and things like that. So that's that right there. Also too, we have a little sticker that we use for all the states that we have been through. These are the only states we've been through now. We've been through a few more, but we haven't put the stickers up yet. We have our fire pit right here. We have a portable one, but this one comes with the campground. This is our little doormat that we use. That way we ain't gotta step into the dirt or nothing like that. We can uh, get our feet together and stuff like that before we go on the inside. Come on down. Here's our uh, next storage bin right here. This area right here technically is called the basement area. Um, a lot of our storage is gonna be down here. We have our uh, kids' school supplies. We have miscellaneous bins, and we have a lot of my wife's shoes. Yeah, she has a lot of shoes. A lot of this stuff came in the closet, so she put them in the basement area. Also, too, we have uh, um, our winter clothes. Uh, my winter clothes, my wife winter clothes, and the kids winter clothes. So while we out here in the winter, we already prepared, we already got our stuff on the go. We got a first aid kit. Our first aid kit, just in case, you know, band-aids, alcohol pads, etc. You just never know what could happen when you're on a roll. We have a, a TV, an outside TV that we can use. We come out here and watch the game, watch TV, watch a movie on the outside. So that's always a plus. Instead of having to bring a TV outside, we already have one out here. That's a good look right there. On this RV, we have three 40 gallon propane tanks. Here's one of them, one on this side. You know, the more propane you got, the better it is when you're trying to light your stove, uh, when you're dealing with heat or the fireplace. So in the wintertime, people usually go through these pretty quick. When it's summertime, they'll last pretty long. This is like our sitting area. We have our chairs out here. Uh, we have our turf. We decide to buy our own little personal grass. That way, if we have our turf, I mean, we get somewhere that has a concrete slab, we can have our grass right here, put our feet in the grass. Yeah, it's always good to have an extra piece of grass with you. Most campgrounds have their own outside dining area. So that's always a plus as well. That way you don't have to bring the table out in and outside. It's already one here for you. Here's our uh, camper tripod. We use this tripod right here. This is for like turbulence on the camper. Sometimes um, when the kids are running around on the inside, you know, this thing, it, it get a little turbulence. It's not as bad without using it, but they also said it's good for like the wash and dry because sometimes the wash and dry move kind of heavy. So if you got the tripod hooked up, that helps with that turbulence right there. Um, right here, we have um, some more propane. I know I mentioned earlier, we had three 40 gallons. Uh, here's uh, um, the other two on this side. So we either just use one at a time, and then after one runs out, we go to the next, and then over there, we have the third one. So that'll give us time to be able to fill up on them as well. Once one run out, we can always get to use the other one in the meantime. So that's that. 
Also on this side, this is like the heart of the RV. The brains is on the inside. This is like the heart of it. Um, this is the, actually the other side of the storage from this area, but also we still have all the hookups and stuff right here. This is the area where you level everything at. Um, this is where you get your city water, which is this blue wire right here. Also this orange one, this is to clean out the black tank. This area right here allows you to empty the black tanks and empty the gray tanks as well. And then also if we ever decide to boondock, we have a different algorithm up here that'll keep the tanks and the water on the inside and we'll be able to do that as well as long as we have a generator on the outside. So this is like the, um, the heart of the RV on the inside, the keypad, that's more of the brains. But again, this is more storage. We haven't used all the storage from the other side to this side, so if we needed to fit more stuff in here, we have the opportunity to do that as well. Come over here to the water. I explained some of this a little bit. Um, usually when you go from city to city, so you're dealing with different waters in different states, um, they either say get bottled water. We got bottled water, but we also have a filter as well. That's what this is. Also too, this is a, a water pressure gauge. When you go to these RV parks and you're dealing with the fresh water, you wanna make sure you don't have a high volume of PSI water pressure. This gauge right here allows me to um, go ahead and calculate the pressure, make sure the pressure's not too high because if that pressure's going too high in the tanks, you know, pipes could bust, et cetera, et cetera. So that allows us to, you know, watch that water pressure as well. And then also too, we could, we have these little spigots right here where we could turn the water off and on from there instead of having to turn it off from the um, heart of the RV. So that's a plus. If you come on down over here, we have our uh, plumbing system. Uh, pretty much the plumbing system, when we drain the black tank and the gray tank, that plumbing system comes through here and it goes to the city. So that's what this uh, orange thing is right here. So once we just pull those knobs and flush everything out, it goes directly to the city. When it comes to the electrical hookup, when you get to these different campgrounds, you just want to be a little cautious and you might want to look into getting a surge protector because these campgrounds have different uh, electrical hookups. They have the 30 amp, the 50 amp, and they have the 12 volt. But sometimes you never know if these campgrounds electricals are having any issues or anything like that. So without the surge protector, if I hook up my electrical immediately, then if I plug it in, if these this campground is having any issues, that can blow a fuse on my actual camper. And if I blow a fuse on my camper, then that's more money that I'm gonna have to pump out to go ahead and get that fixed. So to avoid all those issues, I'm gonna go ahead and give me a surge protector. And what the surge protector do is, I go ahead and plug that up when I get to the campground. And then from there, I will plug my electrical wire from my camper to my surge protector. Cause the surge protector is gonna identify to let me know if there's any issues or not like that with the actual campground electricity. So that's basically gonna be my protection. That's gonna protect me just in case I don't, you know, blow any fuse or anything like that. I wanna to try to avoid all issues when it comes to electrical hookups. So once I plug that surge protector in, that's gonna let me know that I'm good to go and I can go ahead and plug my camper wire in. And from there, I'm set, I'm good to go. We go ahead and get that AC up and running. That way we're, we're all set. We have four slides in total with this camper. Uh, some campers have three, some camper has five, but this one in particular has four. Here's the access to our ladder, just in case we have to get any RV repair guy to come out here to work on our ACs or anything on a roof to patch anything and things of that nature. Or sometimes too, as campers, as owners, we can go ahead and go up here and sit up there and relax and chill and just catch the sunset and just catch a view as well. This right here is the favorite part of the camper for me, personally. We have your 12 volt, um, you have your 12 volt um, electrical panel right here, as well as you have a, a cable antenna as well. So you can put a TV out here if you would like. But with the 12 volt hookup, this station right here between these two walls and this mirror right here, this is my sanctuary. This is why I go ahead and get the cut in my hair, zoom, zoom, zoom. I make sure everything freshen, freshen up and stuff like that for the video. At the end of the day, this is my barber shop. This is my barber shop. This area right here, as long as I got my mirror, I got my plugs, I could cut my hair all day long out here. I don't have to worry about cleaning in the bathroom. I don't have to worry about picking that hair up because once the hair gets on the, on the grass, it'll just fly away and I won't even have to worry about it again. All right, so uh, I gave you an outside view of the RV. I'm gonna just give you a little bit of a uh, rundown on the truck that we have, the vehicle that we own. This vehicle right here, this is a 2015 Ram. Um, 3500 heavy duty this has a 67 cummins engine uh turbo diesel this bad boy right here this is going to be able to pull our camper to let us travel around the country we'll have no issues no turbulence anything like that when you're on the highway you have them 18 wheelers on the side of you you won't even feel it as i'm riding down the highway and i'm doing anywhere between 55 and 65 miles per hour i'm cruising but i'm always checking my mirrors because this big boy right here it carries this camper this camper is uh 20,000 pounds 
uh, dry weight when we add our stuff on there. It's an actual 2,000 pounds. This bad boy here can carry up to 36,000 pounds. So while we using this to go down the road, we don't feel anything. I had to tell my wife sometimes, I have to double check to make sure that camera's still on back because the ride is so smooth. Also, we have the dually tires, which makes this the ride even smoother. We don't feel no turbulence as we driving our big boy. If you come around here, here's our sliding hitch. This is the fifth wheel hitch companion. Uh, we attach this bad boy up to the camper. And then from there, uh, the camper's attached to there. Uh, we have all our safety and everything. We got it properly installed. That way we can carry our camper around the actual country without having any issues. Uh, every time we leave out, we just make sure all the specs and all the screws and everything is tightened because we don't want to have no issues. The biggest thing as we ride riding down the road and all these different highways across the country, safety is our biggest, biggest, biggest concern. So at the end of the day, we always want to double check that and always want to make sure everything is smooth and right with that. We want to make sure our lights are working. We want to make sure we have a full tank. Again, this is a 2015 3500 Ram Dually uh, 6, 7 engine Cummins. And this boy, it gets the job done. I have no issue since. Again, welcome to our uh, outside tour. It's your boy. You know, I appreciate you guys. I know a lot of people in the comments and the DMs was asking us, you know, to do this video. We finally got it done. We just thank you for tuning in and keep showing us support. So, welcome to my RV. So here we have a little bit of home with us. We have three photos that are near and dear. It was hard to pick because we had so many. And um, we just wanted to keep a little bit of home wherever we go on the road. This is going to be our dining area. So we have, a, this is what I like to call a table for two. But when we have company, we have plenty of room. We also have two chairs, which are in storage right now. And then we store that back when it's just my husband. The kids typically, I'll show you where they dine at. So this is gonna be a portable charger where we just lay our cell phones flat. And if you can't do that, Android users, I got y'all. <laughs> we also have storage under the chairs. This is where we keep just a few important papers. We have storage here. This is gonna be our cleaning section. Now guys, if you know me, you know, I don't care where I'm at, it got to be clean. So I got my steamer, I got my mop, and I definitely got my broom and my dustpan. Must, must essential. And after a day of cleaning, I like to retire over here for some relaxation. Now this chair is a recliner that goes in sleep position. It also heats, cools, and it has lights on it. We also have more charging stations as well and two cup holders. So sometimes it's hard for me to get out. We have storage over here. Just a little bit extra storage, which we keep our blankets, extra throws in case we have company. How did I forget the light panel? So these switches here control all the lights in the living room and in the dining area. So this is gonna be our ceiling pendant, the low lights, the high lights, and our dinette. And this is all the exterior outside lighting, which my husband probably told you guys about. So this is going to be a queen size bed here in this couch. More storage. This is where all of our dishes are. Cups, glasses, bowls. We love this because this is our surround sound. We like to watch movies. We like to watch the Ferguson Legacy media. Let me know if you like that show. This is gonna be our fireplace. And I know you guys are thinking, where do you guys watch TV? How's that to get? Now for the star of the show. And here you have it, there's TV. And let me drop it down. And that's done with the click of a button. Cool, right? We have our remotes here. We have our pantry. So this is our pantry with sensory lights. A lot of snacks, I know, not mine, my family's. This is going to be our prep station. And by prep, I mean cutting up veggies. You pop it in and then you pop it back out and drop it down. So you still have the space, still have the extra space to cook and you have space to walk around when you're done. This is going to be a gas stove here. So 
So we have our gas stove, all the fixings. Lights turn blue, oven light has a light. A lot of great meals will be made on this stove. Here we have here, if you know, you know, you know me, that means you really know me. This button is all that matters. Don't mind the rest of these buttons, just this button right here. This is going to be a residential refrigerator. And this is going to be the fridge side as well as the freezer side. We have plenty of storage. So this is where our pots and pans go. This is going to be where our spoons and forks are. This is the trash drawer. Gotta keep those boys busy. Here we have door number one. Let's see what's in there. The boys room. So this is where my boys come, they relax, they play, they chill out. This is where my boys relax, play, and sometimes game. This is gonna be their bunk. And when they're not tired, they just hang out with their friends and they play the game on their TVs. This is a full size bed inside of this couch as well. We have their little personalized cubbies. So each individual kid has their own stuff, which is important to them. They have their undergarments, socks, games. This is where their clothes are gonna be right here. So we have their clothes. We try to have some organizations. Shoes at the bottom, and they have some shoes in our little basement. And I know I told you, I'll show you when the boys eat at. It'll just, and just like that, here's their table. So this is when my boys like to eat and watch TV. They, they don't want to be bothering me and their dad sometimes, so they kind of hang out in their room all day. And I love that this door closes. You wouldn't even know what's behind here. So come on guys, let me show you the rest of the place. I have my stairs here and um, look who I found. The boys mm -hmm. and their favorite little hangout. This is gonna be the loft area. This is where they hang out. They play their iPads. They wind down from watching too much television. Um, what are you guys doing? Playing the game? Yeah. Okay. We have a little ladder. Makes it easy for them to get in here. Pop it back in, pop it back out. This is what all the magic happens, people. Welcome to my bathroom. This is where all the mess transforms for you guys. Um, this is gonna be our shower. We took showers today. So yes, it may be some water stains, but that's because we use it for yeah. life. We have a bench in our shower. We have a shower head that comes apart. This is the sink, the knob. I love the accent lights in here. This is our toilet. And let me show you guys how you flush it. If you know, you know. And last but not least, come on in. I don't know if I really wanna show you guys my bedroom. I'm not there yet, but it is a good room. I love this room. And you guys, from what you can see, we're gonna keep it there. Let's keep the imagination alive. I'm Carlisha, and thanks for checking out my RV.